first opened in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Detroit Lions. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. for the first time with Austin Eckler. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He was brought down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Escaping the pressure right. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards on the play. First down and 10 yards to go. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. They've got a first and 10 from the 10. The first carry now, this is Johnson. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. They're going to look to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Nasir Adderley. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Complete two up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Brings up second and a yard. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Looking for Allen, he's got him on the slam. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 15 yards on the play, first down. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. To Joe Reed. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Joe Reed, the intended receiver, and it's second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 
20-point score gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. It's a first down on a gain of 10. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. His throw caught at about the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that would be a good idea. Double team them somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. That right, sends him two yards in the wrong direction. That leads to second down. Second and goal at the Lions' six-yard line. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Shotgun snap for Herbert. Steps away to his left. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Lining up for the well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you, along the way. And they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp. Guys are focused. Everyone's feeling good. And we're seeing it early in this one. Their catch made at the 25-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said is the back up there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Seven yards there and a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. Right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. They stay on the ground on first for Johnson. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Johnson on the carry. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll run it with Johnson. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Some of these play calls. I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and set them down. And a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder... Because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily. But I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Touchdown, LA! Hunter Henry, his fifth 
touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. The Lions take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Second and seven. He'll look to throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And they work this well on field across the 45. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. The first down carry here for Johnson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. And he's going to be hit and taken down. The back right around the 48-yard line. Enough to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He's got his man, TJ Hawkinson. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. Following the penalty, Chris Johnson. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. They'll run with a former Bulldog. It's the rookie DeAndre Swift. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. DeAndre Swift. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On third down, here comes Swift. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Interception CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. We don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. 
you're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His bio rhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. They'll set up to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Joey Bosa in on the stop. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the gun, here's Swift. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Third down and six. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That's good. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. This will be caught at about the six. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Three at the Chargers' four-yard line. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. second down play they burn the timeout making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter so possession still theirs but now they face a third down back to throw here but it looks like he's about a foot or two short. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Fairbairn is good. So we have reached halftime. Intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. offense ready to kick off their next drive and Charles they're certainly still right in this game but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry yeah I like the way you put it they certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half now that their defense has done its job it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points maybe a little frustration starting to creep in the offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game and there he was hit again as he threw it yeah another time on his backside probably starting to get a little frustrated got to keep his composure can't let the defense know that they're getting to him the first half did not go their way and that's not going to help matters at all an interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter obviously not what they were striving to accomplish but you know who's really upset on their team the defense already trailing they're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is and taking it across midfield and inside the 45 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely first down Out of the gun, Herbert. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep one. 
And Hubbard, his third interception. Picked off down near the five. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because well, here we are season in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. And he'll be pulled down as a penalty flag will rain in as well, and that would appear to be a face mask. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to 1st and 10. They'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And my goodness, another interception. Derwin James with a pick. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Number 22, a gain of three, second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was cut also by the defense. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And this is complete. It's Allen. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. You've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? is tipped in the air because if that happens then it's fair game for the defense certainly appeared to take away his first read and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target the coverage was too good that one falls incomplete and he takes it in for a charger touchdown Joe Reed his 17th touchdown now on the season and the chargers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys. Had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. At the 31-yard line. A play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete force bearing down on him there he could not hang on it's third down another throw there off the mark and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions things just haven't been true to form for him I don't know what do you think's going on out there CD that's a great question and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem you know they always tell you no matter what you keep throwing the football with confidence but we're not seeing a confident thrower right now he's off balance the passing game's off balance and the defense is taking advantage line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And a 
five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The wide receiver of the ball. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. On second down, Swift. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to... And look at this, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt, it doesn't work out, and the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Throw complete to Herndon. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Herbert on first down now. Flush to his right. And he slings one that's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. A loss of two yards, and it's third down. <laughs> Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Flushed out right. This is caught. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. On fourth down, Herbert got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, his 19th touchdown now of the season. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Makes the score, Chargers 28, Lions 3. Michael Badgley to kick off for the Chargers. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And it will come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. 25-yard line. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Johnson. up to the 41 yard line ball carrier taken down at the 41 it's a gain of five brings up three quarters have come and gone but we'll return with more after this you're watching the nfl with the a sports 28 lions three second and five He's taken down. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. The Lions on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. Now back to throw. They'll get this one to Galladay. And that play goes nowhere. 
He's met behind the line, and a penalty flag may add insult to injury. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And thank God that's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. They'll set up a throw. Screen play, Johnson. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. That's to his running back complete. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of the first. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. On first down, it's Herbert. And this complete to Henry over the middle. Herbert. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. It's second and inches at the 41-yard line. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Got him over the middle. It's Williams. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've got an answer for it. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. This will be caught just inside the 10. Allen hit. He lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And a quick throw here that's complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's going to let it fly. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. 
Normally you think the tight end's gonna be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. to throw again. And now here's another interception. Tyron Johnson able to pick it. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. They're going to pass here with Herbert, and this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. So where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left. And their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time. Because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him. But how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good. They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. And 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. But it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. He was credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Back to throw. Now the screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. They'll look to throw. On the left side, it's complete. And he's going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Desmond King making the tackle. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Looking left side, and it's complete. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. 27-yard line. First down, he'll drop to throw. That's to his running back, carry on Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Out of six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Second and four. Escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Today's final score. 
So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for the Chargers, it's a 10th win on the year as they move to 10-4. and 